a citizen of the Soviet Union, a true son of the heroic Russian people, solemnly swear not to put down my gun until the last fascist viper on our soil is destroyed. Signed, the Partisans of the Soviet Union. Having taken the oath, arms are handed out to the men and women whom the Nazis hate and fear. The Red Gorillas, sworn fighters defending their motherland with their lives. The gallant city of Leningrad. Not for the first time are the people of the former capital, renamed after Lenin, facing an oppressor. Each day the besieged city wins further glory in its heroic stand. A Russian factory worker calls on his comrades to redouble their efforts, an appeal which never falls on deaf ears. In Moscow it's the same. The Muscovites respond like one man. But the fate of Moscow does not decide the fate of the USSR. The people of the Soviet are prepared to resist right up to the Ural mountain chain and beyond. Men of the Soviet Air Force are daily hitting back at the invaders. Captains of the aerial seas, they call them. After being briefed by squadron commander Captain Postnov, the Stalinsky Sokovy, Stalin's Falcons, take to their planes to bomb the advancing Nazis. The gunner takes his place in the turret and, before taking off, warms up his gun. Day after day, the valiant Falcons are battering the mechanized units and manpower of the thrusting enemy. And here's an important point I'd like to make. Maybe you have seen bombers in action on the screen before. But have you ever seen bombs falling on German lines before? At a squadron of the coastal aviation of the Black Sea, a sort of cross between our fleet air arm and coastal command, the order to attack an enemy objective is received. And in RAF language, they scramble. The signal to take off is given by a rocket pistol. Bomb's gone. I don't know what the equivalent is in Russian, but you can see for yourselves that when they're gone, they're not forgotten. It's up to us and the U.S. to see that Russia is victorious in the worst war Germany has had to fight. On land and sea and in the air, the great trilogy of nations will emerge triumphant. <laughs>